Persicaria affinis, agroplants.org. Uh, today it's uh, known as Polygonum uh, affinis. Uh, it means that it's from the genome, genus of Polygonum uh, or Himalayan uh, bistro tort. Okay, so how to grow this hibiscus? So this is a hibiscus subshrub and it's perennial evergreen. Uh, it's very, very strong plant that attract a lot of pollinators. Uh, it's used for uh, to attract pollinators for the flowers and I could say for the leaves for some reason, but uh, mostly it's for the flowers. Uh, if you would like to grow it, there is a link below. Uh, just be aware that it's super, super strong plant and not in a positive way. Um, except this, uh, if you perch from our channel, uh, it's uh, below and in the right top side. This is donation. And also don't forget to subscribe and check other videos. So can grow in variety of climate, can be subtropical, temperate or Mediterranean climate from hardiness zone of 3 to 10A. Um, the flowers color can be white, red, pink or pink. Uh, it's mostly arrived in uh, clusters. Uh, it's, a, it's a pile of flowers. This is why it attracts a lot of pollinators. Uh, blooming season, it's from the summer to the autumn. Uh, it depends the condition. And uh, flowers are sm small, they are not very, very significant. So, uh, so be aware of this. Uh, the only requirement that I know uh, from the soil will be like moist soil and this is you, you just keep it mulch and it will grow you know it keeps the, the moist soil and it will be great so let's say that you have a tree and you have a lot of leaves it might regrow itself uh, it's aggressive plant by the way very aggressive you can start to grow it by cutting seeds or plant uh, all it's easy to start with uh, planting season, it's from the spring to the autumn, but in a colder climate, let's say hardiness zone of 3 will be in the spring, hardiness zone of 10A will be from the spring to the autumn. Uh, hotter the area, longer the season will be. It's also possible to grow it as an annual in a hardiness zone of 10B in the autumn. So let's say that you sow it in the autumn, uh, probably uh, it will die over the summer because it's very very hot. Uh, not enough cold, not enough water. So if you plant it, just be aware that it's even possible. Major pests are the aphids. Um, I would say it's crucial. So let's say that you have uh, aphids, be aware to take care of it in the beginning. Uh, it's I'm not sure that it will kill the plant, but it's very, very... It makes the, the garden a little bit disgusting. Uh, height of the plant will be from 2 to 3 feet, so it's 60 to 90 centimeters. So it's mean... Uh, 24 to uh, 36 inches and in the right condition it's a fast growing plant and require average to big amount of water uh, bloom the best in full sun but also grow and bloom in half shade uh, the results that you get and they attract so much pollinators uh, it's just better in the full sun you know if you grow it you grow it for the flowers so give it full sun in order to have beautiful flowers and that attract a lot of pollinators and it's very important especially if you have uh, fruit trees uh, i think it's important because there is always this fruit tree you want mostly not always but mostly you want more fruits so it's help except this uh, it's quite of easy it's mostly you put and forget uh, might do some problem because as i said it's very aggressive uh, but after you put and forget, you just enjoy from the flowers and it's quite of lovely. That's all from growplants.org. Don't forget to subscribe, visit our website. And of course, if you have any question, just ask. You have here links about more videos, some list, subscribe, and of course, purchase a plant. And this is donation for our channel. I hope you enjoy and come visit us again.